Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to review episode 10 of Riferetta season 2 and wow, I there's a lot to go over in the episode so let's get to it. So one of the scenes that it will not see but basically what happened in the first part is that Hajime, you know, defeats the apostle and then as he's regrouped with Tio and his teacher uh, at the destroyed church there's a, a ghost of a liberator shows up and you know guides him to where his labyrinth is and pretty much it gives Hajime a spiritual magic which we don't know what it does specifically yet but I mean um, let me know down in the comments what y'all think but kind of moving on after we jump we jump backwards to what happens a few earlier uh, earlier hours so what basically happens is there's a big crash and then wakes up you know all the students and you know they're on guard now so this the maid that obviously is in the trance that has dead fish eyes um she comes in she tells the group um to you know to move to go to to regroup with the whole army and obviously the traitor um i don't know what her name is but she um she also says yeah she's right we have to regroup with the army so they do and then as as, as um, you know, he pulls out the orb and kind of blinds everyone. Before that, Shizuku and I don't know some of the girls. They already they felt something was off, so they're already on guard. But it was like too late, so they got blinded, and pretty much every all the students except for Shizuku was kind of um, attacked and left you know unconscious or on the ground and then Chizuku regains her awareness and you know she's wondering like what happened and then the maid comes and she ends up you know just like the commander um what turned to a hug was a hug turned to a you know she stabbed her in the back and then we we, our last scenes I want to talk about was that we got, you know, that the traitor kind of revealed herself and it ended up being this, the girl with glasses. And, I mean, honestly, at this point, once you've watched as much anime as I have, or even more or something, you, you become, you start to become more aware of characters that, you know, have a the typical look, uh, the glasses, the the hair, everything, and not to mention that, um, I don't know. She like I said, you start to become more aware of those characters that look like that. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say I was completely surprised, but I was surprised. But like I said, not entirely. But um. I am, I am excited for what will happen next episode, you know, how they'll wrap this up, these last, these last two episodes, um, yeah, and I wonder, you know, how will Hajime deal with this traitor, will it, will he, like, kill her at the end or something, because obviously, like, something bad has happened to her, but, um, I do wonder what Hajime is gonna, uh, you know, um, you know, start with or whatever, you know, what she's gonna do to her at the end, and, you know, hopefully she'll tell us, uh, why she's doing this in the first place, because if I'm being 100% honest, when I got introduced to her back in season one, the first episode, she looked like a sweet girl, you know, nothing wrong, she... Like, just a normal girl, sweet, normal girl, but, you know, I wonder, because in order for you to go undergo that kind of mental stress, 
like something traumatic has happened. So I wonder if she'll tell us basically as to why she betrayed her whole class and you know what's her goal moving forward like if this kind of goes the way she wants to like what's what's the next on her plan like what's her big goal in this whole thing um i'll hopefully by next episode they answer these questions so i hope you guys you know enjoyed my video um leave a like subscribe and leave a comment about thoughts and opinions in the comment below thank you and i'll see you next time